Oh yeah, I wanted to catch up on the Rubet thing. Because I know CoffeeZilla and Mudahar posted the new parts. <clears throat> Alright, so we're on part three. Hey, Harry. Um, don't freak out. But I know we've been working on part three for several days now. But, but you're have fired. To throw it in the trash. Oh. Are you serious? Even worse. Yeah, we gotta start over. I just got off the phone with the Nelk boys. There's so much to this story. It's convoluted, competing interests. It's just... <sighs> we gotta scrap it and start over. This is the video editor just quits on the spot about Nelk, Private Bet, and Wizza. But we've learned new evidence, which has changed our perspective on this. Not necessarily making anyone look better, hmm. more like complicating the story and making it more interesting. So this is us starting over and trying to make sense of a bunch of competing voices. We won't mm -hmm. take any sponsorship money, nothing. Uh -huh. Hey guys, let's go. Good night here. Thank you, Just Steve. Scrap Don't the fuck third me. video and restart. I mean, look, it's going to happen when you're doing something like this. Sometimes the truth isn't what you expect. Then other times the truth is confusing or conflicting because some of y'all, I hate to say it, have lied to me. And it's hard to know who's telling the truth. Like, it's almost like my job is I a trust real life Steve. game of Among Us. Who is the imposter telling me lies? But they're not actually playing with real money. They're gambling with fake money coming from a sponsor. Well, it's real money from a sponsor, racks, but it's not their right, money, whoa. right? Let's call Howie. That was it's a not make-believe. They give call the Howie money to them. Really call Howie off screen, because that was <laughs> Well, let's see what Howie's going to do. They just lost 15 racks. If you look at their Bitcoin wallet here, they're sitting at a toasty zero dollars, okay? God damn. Don't worry, guys. Howie comes in clutch. Look at that Bitcoin wallet up top. They're back to playing Crash. Same exact stream that we were watching. God damn. Damn. They're yeah, but if they don't disclose it, but no, no, no. Jesus Christ, no. Because I'm just saying, want to gamble a dime they're not having make-believe money. money. They're getting the real Bitcoin money, deposit wallets which guys. is even worse. They haven't ever put anything in, dude. Like, it's Aiden not their Ross money. Didn't put a You're misunderstanding dime of me. his money I'm not defending into it. that Bitcoin wallet address. How much money does Aiden Ross have in the account? Three hundred thousand dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Where did he put the money in? And of course, not only are they no stakes gambling wafer. while pretending to high stakes gamble. Remember, because they're making millions of dollars on these deals, these influencers' lives are basically controlled by Rubet. Oh. Howie says jump. These influencers say how high, literally. Yeah, Howie, are you in the chat right now? Is this true? Bro, why do you want me to do that, Howie? You're weird as f bro. What the f did he ask for this time? What the hot, bro? If Howie says no. fly to Mexico, Howie, you better fly to Mexico. Well, we're gonna be happy. We're going to Mexico. Now that we're at this lavish, luxurious villa, this other country, I can tell you why we got it. Why we got the jet. Why we did why, all this why, stuff. Why? 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 We have officially partnered with Rubet. Let's go. It's bizarre to watch all these cool influencers yeah. dancing yeah. like puppets. Howie, for like a weird version of Squid Game, do a strange task for lots of money. <laughs> How, apparently, Howie has a challenge. Thank you, Tier One Red. No, he's yeah. gonna make you do a kangaroo sound. I bet you I'm out of this one. A kangaroo sound? I'm stepping sound. out. That does sound like a that good kangaroo. Like a kangaroo to me. Fuck All yeah, I gotta say, good. the money must be very good for these guys to be doing that. But, of course, we know all that glitters is not gold. Sometimes these deals fall apart. And it turns out this was the case with the Nelk Boys and Rubet and Wizza. See, many people noticed when the Nelk Boys suddenly went from streaming every day on Rubet and being influencers on Wizza, their giveaway sister company, to suddenly being wiped off the website with no warning. None of the Nelk guys, except for Steve Will Do It, remain. Oh, Remember, no. Remember, our boy Alan is supposedly the number one fan of Full Sin. These are the number one fans of Full Sin slash Happy Dad. Well, it all started falling apart with the giveaway of a Ferrari sponsored by Wizza that seemed too good to be true. I think it just seems like a scam because it's too, it's, it's too epic. Yeah. There's no such thing as too epic. It's true. It's like saying something can be too lit or too wet. I don't know how to say this delicately, but this thing was a disaster. Thanks, Risa, Don, Julio. We'll explain a little bit more, but this thing looked completely rigged. And all of this caused an entire subreddit to be born called r slash full scam. And this subreddit became devoted to cataloging Nelk's missteps in the meticulous and obsessive way that only Reddit really can. According to Nelk, they cut ties early with Wiz and Rubet. And honestly, that was probably
probably a smart move. Although it looks like not everyone was on the same page because obviously Steve will do it didn't leave Wiz and Rubet. And we also know Lucas here. Steve will do it can't read. Streaming on Twitch with Rubet. How many times do I need to say that? Like he quite literally can't fucking read. He doesn't know what's going on. on. Which will become interesting a little bit later. Now the other interesting thing we learn here is that when Nelk backed out of Wiz, they were also out of Rubet. Nelk told me this is because Rubet and Wizza were package deals for them, which if you ask me, is weird. Why is a giveaway company and a offshore gambling site tying their promotions together? I mean, yes, because it's fucking people, epic. But it doesn't exactly mix. It'd be like a weapons dealer buying their firearms to also having to volunteer at the homeless shelter or a smoking company making you adopt a kitten for every pack you pick up. I mean, it's a little weird, right? if what Nelk is saying is true. But either way, it raises a few eyebrows about so who won the where Ferrari? the money might be coming from for all these extravagant giveaways. Sure, business Imagine caring about this shit. Using anyone here. I just want to say that what? if it were me, it's complete. I don't understand that perspective. I didn't get scammed, so why would I care? It's still interesting. Like, what the fuck do you mean? I don't get that. Uh, I wasn't personally involved, therefore it's completely irrelevant and no one should give a fuck about it. I don't care if they scammed millions of dollars worth of shit. Who cares? I wasn't in it. I don't want to hear about it. This is lame. Fucking cringe. Embarrassing. They said, quote, Wiz and Rubet do not package their expenses. The two companies are separate entities and pay their own expenses. No one is concealing the overlap on the marketing team. Can Steve and the really not read? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is table. clinically so illiterate. Go. Take it for what it is. He's diagnosed with terminal illiteracy. That for Nelk, the deals were tied together. And speaking of Nelk, people were still upset about the Ferrari regardless of what was happening. And people quickly found out, looking behind the scenes, that it wasn't the first time they tried to give away a car. Yes. Yeah. Well, what's the, is that yours? How do you get so, this Lambo? We teamed up with this company called Moose, and they just approached us. They're like, yo, we got a full send Lambo. We want to team up with you guys. What's the what company? What are these that, companies? Like, how do you just called, get a Lambo? I'm they just hit us up. Moose is like this company they, called it's like Moose. a charity company. They yeah. bought the Lambo, and then they... We push through our fans and then they buy entries and then so it's like one dollar entries wins. you can buy as many as you want yeah basically the exact same thing real quick there's something i want to look up because i remember twitch streamers got in trouble for this isn't it illegal to have to pay to enter a raffle isn't that an actual crime don't you have to have a free alternative for entries in a raffle it is illegal to require you to buy something or pay to enter to increase your odds of winning in a raffle. That is from the oag.ca.gov, part of the sweepstakes law. So it's just literally illegal. <laughs> what? I thought so. Because I remember, uh, I remember, the, I think it was Cash App, was doing like uh, giving money away to subscribers of streamers. And it's like, well, that's a problem because in order to subscribe to a streamer, you're paying. And you can't pay to enter a raffle because it's illegal. So I thought so. I imagine that would extend here because this is a raffle for a Lambo, or a, yeah, a Lambo, right? So how, how are they allowed to get rid of that? To increase your odds not to enter, I believe. It actually says here, it's illegal to require you to buy something or pay to increase your odds. So it's both. Yeah, they're in California, right? I'm not, I'm not looking at the, the wrong laws. This is the state of California, the Department of Justice. And they are California based, right? So I have to imagine that it's a problem, right? I don't know. I'm not a fucking lawyer. I just remember hearing about this when it was prevalent on Twitch. Fans paid money for tickets to a raffle and... Congrats on clogging really the toilet, knows Michael. Good shit, if man. the drawing was fair. Or in this case, if it even happened. No one knows what happened to the full sinned Lambo. It looks like the company Moose Gives was just a fly-by-night company that folded up and nobody got the car. Now, once again, I asked Nelk about Thanks, this. Thanks, And they responded, quote... We basically got effed over in almost the same sense as we did here with Wizza. So that's their statement. Oh, and they also say that they were only paid 15K apparently for this deal as well. And if that's the case, oh, I think no. they should have just come forward and addressed this stuff sooner. It gets worse. Yeah. Because right after this disastrous promotion with Wizza hammer. and Rubet, they literally start promoting another gambling casino. Private Bet has a pretty sweet deal for you guys right now. They actually have an 100% deposit bonus guarantee up to $500. Uh, Why does he look so scared? Code Kyle. Make an account on privatebet.com and DM him your username. And we're going to give away $250, $250 to 100 people. So all you guys on privatebet.com, $250 right. each. Privatebet.com, we'll be doing this real, uh, we'll do this a lot. Uh, XYZ Entertainment, as it's called, was created May 25th, 2021. This thing's like a little baby. 
So why promote it? I mean, why is a company like Nelk not going with an established casino instead of just like a brand new Because they're gambling on the little guy, baby. This got people thinking. There's got to be more to this story. And this got even more damning when some social media accounts called at Blackjack were found being used for private bet. Here they are right here. These have been since privated. And the reason they were privated is because they were tied back by a YouTuber named Harrison to people from Nelk. Hey, Apparently, Harrison. Nelk's uh, president, the president of Full City. God damn. So how, how would... How would anyone even find Harrison talking about this? Harrison must have done a great job of getting the word out. Good for him. 36 subs and he says, fuck it, I'm gonna, I'm taking them down. Two people from Nelk. Apparently, Nelk's uh, president, the president of Full Sint, apparently owns those social media accounts. The obvious implication here being, of course, that Private Bet was owned or tied to Nelk more than previously known, which would obviously make sense of the reason that they're promoting this brand new casino. Private bet, and before that known as Blackjack Ventures, and before that known as Full Sind Blackjack. <laughs> now I would show you some Just of the coincidence, I think. video uncovering all of this, but unfortunately, surprise, surprise, it was copyright strike oh, by shit. none other than Nelk. Now I contacted Nelk about this because of course this seems extremely fishy, and they told me, hey, there's been a misunderstanding. They don't own private bet at all. But they know who does, but refuse to say. Steve. But apparently they were working out a marketing deal with private bet and a social media deal. That's the reason their socials were connected was because apparently Nook owned some gambling social media accounts at Blackjack and they were going to let them use them in exchange for a lucrative deal. So private bet was going to use at Blackjack, which was owned by Full Send, and Full Send was also going to promote them as a casino. <laughs> this was Nelk's story, is essentially they promoted a gambling company offshore without owning it and without a deal talking terms. And this is right after getting burned by another company that they didn't own. Does anybody else think this is kind of a weird story? I mean, no, I honestly think they're dumb they enough to do that. It like, for a few legitimately, days pulling just out of the super deal, stupid and, and would do that by accident. They're not going to do this any longer. But I know a lot of influencers, and almost none of them would promote a brand or product Prime without West. any kind of deal first in writing, especially not a brand as big as Nelk. You're going to promote something without even a deal sketched out on a napkin? I, I don't know. I just don't buy it. And I told the guys at Nelk that I thought that there was something I wasn't being told. Because what doesn't make sense here is that Nelk keeps saying they've learned their lesson and need to stop promoting stuff they don't control, right? Like that was the lesson with Wizza. They didn't control it and they got burned. That was the lesson with Moose Gives. They didn't control it, they got burned. But around this time, Who's I was finding Matt Nelk Twitch? a little hard to believe. Something even more unbelievable happened. A supposed never Nelk trading. whistleblower suddenly appeared on Reddit on full scam, promising to expose them. The post is entitled, My Experience Formerly Working for Steve Will Do It and Nelk. Posted by this guy, Zesty Close. The two giant claims I want to draw your attention to is one, that Private Bet is owned by Kyle and the Shahidi brothers. And two, no, that the I don't giveaway that. with the Ferrari was rigged for a stunt. I mean, wow, this could be big. And of course, mm. I instantly reached out and to And it turns person. out it was I wrong. said, are you willing to talk? And quote, what proof do you have that the Ferrari is rigged? He said, hello. I would love to help, but I just received an email from the full sin team with a breach of contract. And at this point, it looked like maybe this guy's the real deal. How? Can't that just seems really fishy. He's under NDA. So the question is, how do we get him to talk? And as you guys know, uh, we... that's not really how NDAs would work. He says he worked in their accounting department. They're not going to NDA their accountants. I find that pretty hard to believe. This seems very fishy. This seems like fanfic. Like, I, I've had my fair share of NDAs and it's it's not that common like it's not something that they just do for a random employee at their big company you underestimate how hard companies NDA people just look at Blizzard they literally NDA everyone I guess that is true I guess maybe working at a company is a little different so I mean it's possible but I don't think Thing. I find it hard to believe that an accountant that they apparently don't know at all, they can't track this guy down from her, from his post. I find it hard to believe that this faceless guy at their company was NDA'd. And at this point, it looked like maybe this guy's the real deal, but he can't talk 
because he's under NDA. So the question is, how do we get him to talk? And as you guys know, meanwhile, I'm in contact with Nelk. So I start to hatch an idea of maybe how we can do this. So what my plan was, I went to Nelk and I said, hey, obviously there's this guy on Reddit, you guys probably have seen it, who says he used to work for you, he's exposing you guys. Is he telling the truth? They say, no. I say, prove it. And of course they said, how? So I tell him, look, if he's not a real employee, release him from his NDA. If he's just a fake employee, I work in private equity. We NDA, NDA everyone for everything. Excuse, not this is a YouTuber. He is who he it's says a YouTube. Is, right? And at this point, I got to tell you, frat douchebag party house. Basically asking them to waive their rights to an NDA. It's a little different. They discussed, and they said, all right, done. Any NDA on this whistleblower. But again, maybe. Nelk is null and void. I just, Perfect. It seems very so weird. I go back to our boy, Zesty Close. And I say, hey, I just got off the phone with the Nelk boys. They say you're actually completely in the clear to talk with me. So no breach of contract to tell me everything you know. If you are who you say you are, you have no fear of backlash. John and Kyle have cleared you to tell me what you know. And this is when our guy, our supposed whistleblower, Zesty Close, it's his turn to get quiet. He doesn't respond. And suddenly his post, which was highly upvoted, is deleted. I asked, why? Hello, why'd you delete your post? Yeah. He responded, hey, sorry, these last days have been really busy for me. Sorry if I take a while to respond. And I didn't. It got deleted by someone else. Don't know who, though. And I got to say, what are the partially odds? in defense of the Nelk boys here, like, look, get mad at them for the Wizzo stuff, Moose Gives, or the private bet story of theirs. But don't make up stuff pretending to be an ex-employee. Like, if you're that desperate to expose someone that you fabricate working with them, aren't you worse than the people you're exposing? I don't know. I just wanted to say that. But despite this being cleared up, I'm still not done with Nelk here. Because believe it or not, we still have one final piece of the puzzle, and it comes from Lucas, one of the Nelk boys, also known as Gaspo Show on Twitch. And by the way, this guy, the second we mentioned we were doing a story on Rubet, all his videos on YouTube and Twitch oh, were deleted. Man. I wonder why. Same with Steve will do it, by the way. But anyways, oh, man. remember we said earlier that Lucas and Steve continued to stream on Rubet well after June 30th when supposedly Nelk broke off the contract and apparently it was because they had their own deal. Well, Lucas apparently was up to some sketchy stuff, according to a former moderator who provided extensive evidence and accused Lucas of rigging stream giveaways with Rubet. As Lucas explains, all you have to do is create an account with Rubet and you too can win. Make sure you guys are using promo code Lucas up here. L U C. Oh, wait, I'm signing up now, you Lucas. Make a new account. Do what you got to do. Helps you guys out for the giveaways a whole lot. So, if you guys want free money, man, all you got to do is that. Free money. That's right. These guys, if you use their code, they're going to give you free money. But apparently, that's what happened false with Nelk? Are they done? It's a good question. I haven't looked at Nelk in. Anyways. Fuck years. Good pranks. Oh, they really fuck with the golfer. Oh, we checked this last time. I remember now. Wait, this is familiar. Hop gets attacked. What is this? 2010? Oh my god. It's from all the breast cancer related merchandise will go towards helping the American Cancer Society. This is Nelk. That went right to them. That was just another lie. That'll be in part six. I like how we can click anywhere on one of their videos, it seems, and they will immediately just be lying about some shit with money. Allegedly, Lucas was scamming people by not giving away money randomly to his viewers, but instead giving it away to himself and his moderators. Here's how it apparently worked. Moderators would create a series of shell Rubet accounts, brand new accounts like this. Accounts like Ricks and Morty, Icy Drops, Merch Buyer. Several accounts just like these would be created all on the same day, would be fresh accounts, and then would happen to win the giveaways of Lucas, but they were really controlled by his moderators who were feeding him names. The way it worked was allegedly what a good one deal of the for moderators, the mods. Nate, would send Lucas Thanks, names Crusade. ahead of time, and Lucas would select the names that he knew his guys controlled. According to a statement from the whistleblower, quote, Nate had set a certain type of order in Lucas's streams. He became the main guy controlling things like Lucas's TikTok account and making sure staff were paid. Things stayed like this for three weeks. Nate God damn it, I keep pausing now because I'm reading shit in the chat. It's interesting questions. What's your opinion on the quality of Nelk compared to other douche tubers? Yeah, I'm not... So obviously after all this shit, I'm clearly not a huge fan of Nelk. But uh, I remember when I was in college, there was something like Nelk that was big called I'm Schmacked. 
And it was basically like pre-alpha Nelk. It was just a bunch of dudes that would cruise the, the country hitting all college parties. And that shit was fucking great. And they never scammed anyone. They just brought a camera and they filmed some some college titties and drinking and keg stands and shit. And Charlie standing at the beer pong table running ass. So when I was younger, like and partying, it was cool when they were there. Even though I never really watched I'm Schmacked. They went to our university like twice that semester, and that was super fun. I think as far as douchebags go, Nelk is definitely up there, considering how often they scam. They would message us asking us for our Rubet names and making sure we would be paid. And at first, I didn't bat an eye or anything. And this guy went so far as to actually send me the blockchain wallet where these accounts were winning on July 30th, for example, when all these shell accounts were created. Uh, as you can see, here are some winnings on July 30th Thanks, coming from the Rubet Hot nut. Wallet itself. Now, of course, I confronted Lucas on this, wanting, of course, to give him the chance to comment. He refused, and instead I just heard that he no longer wants to stream gambling anymore. No. Oh. about figures? You fucking now, ruined it, Coffee! What does this mean? Right? I'm oh, throwing God. a lot of facts at you guys. Let's put it together for a second, I'll please. never win Lucas's giveaway. As we giveaway. found out, there's a lot going on, right? Contracts being broken, fake NDAs, fake whistleblowers, no story about private bet, which sounds oh. fake to me. And of course, Lucas's fake giveaways. I think the common thread here is kind of clear. But more than that, I really think what we're seeing is a group who can't decide what their ethical line in the sand is. On the one hand, some of Nelk says they're done with Wizza after they suspect them of basher? scamming their international fans. Well, at the same time, other members of Nelk oh, it's a lot are still basher. the number one promoter. Douchebag scamming, basically. One part basically. of Nelk say they're done with Rubet, while the other part of Nelk is busy running a giveaway <clears throat> scam on Rubet. You have one part of Nelk saying they're done with sketchy brand partners they don't control, and then they go out and promote this. Supposedly, another brand they don't control because they never had a deal worked out. I think it's honestly sad because without all this sketchy stuff, I think Nell could probably ride this full sin brand into the sunset, making millions of dollars off merch and happy dad dollars. But instead, it seems like they True. can't keep their members from reaching their hands in the cookie jar. And if they keep doing that, uh, the name full scam is eventually going to stick. So what will Nell I think it choose? already has. I don't know. But I think what Nelk does next will determine a lot. Now, coffee. Now, is there a way where it's like you just make this like right <laughs> hey so i did scam everyone but can you just forget about it all right we've got part four baby penguins way in at this okay make it sound like it's an mma fight God, they're so fucking cute. Sounds like a camel. Number nine, four point six. Very good. Good job, Cherry. Good girl. She's four point two. Good job, Pumpkin. Good job. And ironically, penguins are still probably the cutest little animals. Up there with dogs. They just like little jumps and shit. Fuck, it's cute. Robert Dyer food reviews. We've watched some of him before, haven't we? Yep. They do get pretty wacky. Let's see what he thinks of the Voodoo 3. Transmitting live from a tower atop Campbell Hill in Bell Fountain, Ohio. Thanks, Resub Sonic. This is the Robert Dyer Channel Halloween Countdown Woo! 2021. And now, a host who's been thoroughly probed by our alien overlords. Robert Dyer. Robert. Hi, everybody. Robert Dyer, and welcome. Welcome to the Robert Dyer channel. Halloween count. He does look like he's been Christmas thoroughly po probed. The biggest and he's not happy. Of the year here on the Robert Dyer channel, as well as my two favorite holidays of the year. We try the latest, some crazy luck. greatest Halloween products for 2021, as well as any other exciting products that are released during this month, and perhaps a few terrifying surprises, but only good surprises today with the brand new Mountain, Mountain Dew. Dew. And we always go big here on the Robert Dyer channel, so I have... <laughs> Not only the bottle, 
but also the canyon. All right, we're going a little too big, though. We got to slow this shit down. What the fuck? Halloween. All right, how's it taste, though? Now we're going to get out the bachelor's finest glassware and pour some of this. Oh, that looks pretty good. Okay, true. Definitely a pleasant aroma. Let's go ahead well, why and not see how it make tastes. it a perfume, too? I guess. I really like the sweeter Mountain Dews, even though this. All right, has so it's pretty good. Fuck yeah! Now I know. Yeah, we can do some slap mountain. Episode six. Let's ride. I'm coming back Just for a Miller Lite and, and a blowjob. I'm You'll home. But we're headed out to Slap Mountain. Slap Mountain. Let's go. What are we getting up to today? This Skinning some squirrels? This man is a filthy individual. From Slap Mountain competition 12 years ago Whoa. due to inappropriate behavior and public nudity. Whoa. And he has returned this afternoon to avenge the only loss on his record during this legend versus legend showdown. What the fuck is happening? Oh no, come on. Now it's been don't, don't years jerk it off. Oh, he's banned in 15 like he's states. He's a menace. Him just a, second to recover a clinical psychopath. A nutcase. Gonna welcome him with open it's arms. Superstar KC. Superstar KC. Not only has Superstar... Without his glasses, he is legally blind, so there may have been a few men slip into the pile as well. One can't be too sure. Superstar KC. Now the match hasn't yet What begun, is Lil Donnie wearing around his neck? Around is it a choker? Section, and I'm going to turn it over to Cream Pie Okerlund with the introductions. Let's go. I'm ready. We hope everything's okay with little Bobby and we expect him to join us by the end of this match. Oh man. This is a 20 round legend versus legend showdown between little Donnie on your left and superstar KC on your right. Is this their first now, time meeting each other in the crucible? For this match, the rules of Slap Mountain involve not biting your opponent and not hitting him with your car. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's Slap Mountain, baby. Okay, Cream Pie's going to remove Anything the glasses goes. from KC. Keep and the glasses from this on. Point forward, Superstar KC New is meta. operating from memory alone, with only his sense of touch and smell to guide him. And sense of violence. Change in the direction of the wind. His lust for blood. For just a second here, but he's going to he smell need his those way glasses. back to his target. Oh, and that's a fantastic slap to start round one. You've offended okay, little, little Donnie. Donnie's just going to eat that first slap, and it looks like he's going to take a stroll around the ring. Crank it back, little Donnie. Off, look at the size of Fucking Donnie's spin hands. his head around. Oh, delivering a big shot to Not end bad. round Not one. Bad. And now we have a 60-second break. It looks like I'm getting a video call here from little Bobby Gomez. Let's take this. Oh, the lore week. continues. And $60 a week rent. You got to give me an eviction notice. I don't have to give you Really? I don't remember. Who's little Bobby Gomez again? I don't remember him in the lore. Yeah, let me help you out. Let me help you out. Get your hands off of me. Videotape me. Go get, ahead, get, get out. Get your hands off of me. Get your hands. Get your hands off of me. Ain't nobody got their hands on you. Get out. Get your hands off of me. Ain't nobody got their hands on you. Oh, he is the big guy. He is the big guy. I do remember no, now. I got it on video, stupid. Okay, round two. Ow! Stop climbing the door. Look. Jesus Christ. Can, so, can we get like a by KC. like a like a please check at the little Bobby Gomez house to make sure everything's okay? God damn! Little Donnie hauls off. Oh, big shot from Little Donnie! And Superstar that's nothing. Superstar KC, KC can't handle. Hurt. No, that's he nothing. He can't. He's not happy. And Little Donnie smells blood in the water. He's happy. Sprinting from one side of There's the There's a big smile on other. his face right now. Ladies, looks like I'm getting another video call coming in from Little Bobby. Why is there so many well, like might step videos? Away just for a second and take this call. This time it's just oh, it's still the same one. Hey, my door. Okay, it looks like little Bobby Gomez may be in a little bit of trouble here. He's being chased by his roommate with a samurai sword. Gomez is running, putting a little bit of distance between himself and his roommate. This is a very dangerous situation for Bobby Gomez. I wonder if this is normal in this neighborhood. And his shoes are untied, which is the most dangerous part. the swelling of his left cheek. I don't even know what they're arguing about. The what ring, happened? We have another issue. It looks like little Donnie's body is rejecting the water that he's trying to drink here. It seems years of abuse have made him incapable of digesting H2O. Well, that's in the well, opposite corner. It looks like H2O Superstar powers KC. him down. He's stronger. It looks like Superstar without it. KC Miller Light is, is all he needs. 
and that's going to be the end of the match. What? Our winner, ladies and gentlemen, Little Donnie, after two rounds. Come Nothing on, Nothing but Casey. respect between these two legends of Slap Mountain. What a fantastic showing from these two men. I really and believed be in you, Casey. Big announcements from Slap Fight Championship. Man, what the fuck? They give up so easily on Slap Mountain. Well, if nothing else, at least little Bobby Gomez had fun getting evicted or whatever happened there.